back for another weekly coaches show with head coach Shelly Clays Bogham of the women's lacrosse team. And, and coach, coming off a really impressive win on the road, 16 to 11. Uh, you know, you talk about a strong point being the defense, and that certainly was the case down the stretch as you outscore Rutgers 6 to 1 to break that 10 10 tie. What changed in that second half that allowed you guys to run away with the victory? Well, I just think we're getting better. Um, every game we step out there, we learn a little bit something new about ourselves. And, and it's been great to see that the team is finally starting to put it together. Um, we just – everything about the way that we talked, moved, acted, responded was just better. Um, and we almost felt that sense of control that maybe we hadn't had um, in those two weeks um, when we were on the road after the UConn um, loss. So I was excited to feel that with the team. Um, I thought that, you know, we we gained key draw controls um, when we needed it down the stretch, which gave our offense a chance. Um, we, you know, really did a great job of managing possession and picking and choosing great um, um, shot selections to finish uh, the goals. Um, and then, you know, even when we put our team in a position to have to defend, we just had a composure about us, um, which allowed us to clean up the play and, and give it back to the attacking unit. So I was just really impressed with how quickly we had turned around our levels of, of composure to show the control and discipline we need to be able to win big games. Jackie Gordon and Betsy Angel pretty much took over the game late. Um, how proud are you as a coach to see your seniors really stepping up? Because obviously it wasn't the start to a season you wanted to have, and now you have these these seniors really stepping up for you, not just on the offensive but defensive end of the ball. Yeah, I mean, they did a great job, but I think that they um, followed through with what some of our other players had started. And Christina McCarthy um, had the um, – the goal to go up 11-10, uh, and then she assisted the goal um, to Margaret Tucker Fogarty, who put us up 12-10. Uh, and those players that you just mentioned, Jackie Gordon, Betsy Angel, and Brooks Lawler, just took the team on their shoulders from that moment on and showed them what high percentage shots look like. And it was just great to see the contagious winner's mentality flow through the whole team um, from one end to the other end. I mean, our defensive unit had fouled a couple of times, put ourselves in a position where we were two man down. Um, and we almost came out of that on top. We had made a defensive stop, you know, gave it to the other team, and they, they came back down and ended up scoring on us. But it was just all the way through from goaltender through to the last standing attacker, or it was just contagious. Um, you know, Elena Romesberger came up with a couple of really great draw controls late in the game in that moment. So it was just contagious from the, you know, the senior captains all the way through down to some of our younger players. How important is a win like that, knowing that uh, this week is probably arguably your toughest week in the regular season when you, when you face nationally ranked opponents in Virginia and Maryland. So how important is getting that win at Rutgers for this program? I mean, it's important in any year. Um, Rutgers is a great team. They're very physical. They're used to playing a strong schedule. They never quit. They fight to the end. So for us to show that 60-minute resilience I thought was key. Um, but then also for our program, who um, maybe had a couple of early season losses that we would say should not have happened, to be able to clean it up and find a way to come through with a victory with the amount of control that we had on the attacking end and through the midfield was just really exciting for us. Um, and that gives us confidence going into this week um, that we are getting better, um, that if we keep the focus on ourselves, you know, we have the ability athletically um, and aggressively to play with anybody in the country. And that brings us uh, to my, the next point, uh, Virginia. Uh, play them tomorrow. It's a team we've played pretty much every year, except for one, but dating back to 1975, so a program we're pretty familiar with. Uh, they, they've kind of had kind of a similar year to JMU, kind of some ups and downs, uh, good wins, and maybe some losses they think they shouldn't have either. How do you approach a game like this uh, and what you can call a rivalry game? Well, I mean, you know, I think it's important for us to continue focusing on ourselves. Um, but I also think that we need to be realists. You know, the last couple of years, we have not competed against this program the way we expect to. And a lot of that was to do with not being able to win a draw control. Um, they graduate an incredible player in Courtney Swan, who's dominated their draw possessions the last couple of years. They have great players coming into that role for them. 
But we need to compete on the draw. We need to win possession, and we need to give our our team a chance to compete on game day. And that won't happen without winning possession first. So, you know, trying to, you know, get this team excited and get them riled up and remind them of the potential of this in-state rivalry, but also remind them of what the game of lacrosse calls for. And that's winning these 50-50 possessions, whether that's loose balls on the ground um, or the draw control after each goal. So, you know, we're really going to try to stay focused on possession first. And then from there, um, you know, maybe just try to frustrate them a little bit, um, you know, see how strong of an offensive unit we can be. We're going to need every single player to step up for us and be a threat. There's no way we can p compete unless all 12 players aren't being aggressive with the ball. Um, we need to share the ball. Um, you know, they're, they're too good of a team to just think that we're going to beat them in a one-dimensional 1v1. One one. We're going to have to have strong ball movement and, and hold them accountable for early slides or late slides. Um, and then we're going to have to play defense, you know. I mean, they are very high, uh, f just strong firepower. Um, yes, they are a team that has had some losses. I think they're coming into our game with four losses in a row. But you would have to hope that that would be igniting their fire and they're going to be wanting to step up too. So both programs are really hunting wins right now. Both programs are fully capable of performing on game day. It's just which team is going to step up and be the better team and show control in late minutes in the game. And then on Saturday, you head up to College Park, the number one team in the country, Maryland. That's a team that's really dominated this series, and it's been a while uh, since this program's beaten Maryland. Uh, just how do you approach? Obviously, the focus is on Virginia until tomorrow night. But then how do you focus uh, your attention, not just as a coaching staff, but as players for, for the – defending champs and number one team in the country. I mean, you're exactly right. Maryland is, is competing in a league of their own right now. They just, uh, last week, they played Florida, who was number two at the time, and crushed them 14-4. to four. So, you know, I think it's going to be a huge challenge. Again, draw controls. Last year, we allowed um, Taylor Cummings um, to have 11 draw controls in a game. That's just way too much. We cannot allow one player to dominate us that way. Um, but the bigger thing is just being able to create an environment where the girls feel um, aggressive, they feel tenacious, and they feel like they can be confident to compete. And so I think it's going to be, you know, the big focus is going to be reminding them on the passion of the game and what it feels like to enjoy competition and, and love the dog fight and be able to, um, you know, come out on top. Um, you know, obviously we don't schedule any team that we don't think we can compete and beat. Um, we've actually been one of the few teams to compete with um, Maryland over the last couple of years. Um, and so we're going to be looking to try to put our best foot forward and do it again. I think this is a great week for us to, um, you know, kind of harden the girls and, and remind them of what it takes to win at that level heading into CAAs. You know, I mean, I think we go from this week to William & Mary, a team that is, you know, one of the nation's leaders right now in cause turnovers. They lead, uh, they're maybe top 10 in, in ground balls. Um, they're leading the conference in draw controls right now. Um, we're second, they're first. So, you know, if, if we can win possession against Maryland and UVA, then we can win possession against William & Mary. And like I said in the beginning, that's the nature of this game, possession game. So I'm excited to use this week um, in its entirety to prepare us mentally and physically leading into the CAA challenge that we have this year. Well, Coach, we certainly appreciate the time. Best of luck at Virginia and then at number one Maryland. And uh, we'll talk to you uh, following those games and then again next week. That's right.